Hey folks, we're back for more Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna try this character. I'm Cameron. I'm Jay. <laughs> this is Jay's first time playing Binding of Isaac. I'm just gonna move that cursor out of the way. And you don't start with any bombs, keys, or pennies as Eve, unfortunately. Just the dead bird. When you take damage, it starts fighting on your behalf. And, uh, yeah. Oh, these dudes share a health bar. Uh, okay. They're sort of like a micro-boss, except they're no threat whatsoever. Yep. You need bombs to get to that penny, and even then it wouldn't be worth it most of the time. Christ, that thing is fast. Yeah. It's also a pain in the ass to get a beat on. Because it shoots in the only directions that you can shoot it from. By moving up or down, you can influence the angle of your shots. Oh, your bird will handle it. Yep. That's the boss room. Not gonna go in there. Yeah, you wanna get an item first. Oh, uh, there's that potato looking thing. Yep, and listen to him cry, and you're gonna kill him. Because you're a terrible human being. Hey, he started it. No, he didn't! You went up and attacked him out of nowhere. What's that do? Press space and it murders shit. So use it on the boss. Go right near the boss and press space. It's probably not worth going in that pain door. No. Because it's half a heart to get in and half a heart to get out. Yep. So unless it gives you a heart boned. Oh, hey, you just got his tooth. Oh, you're down to half a heart. Suddenly you become amazing. Don't die! Don't die! Can I take damage like this? Yes. Oh, okay. You still take damage as normal. You just deal ridiculous amounts. Does this, like, last for the room or forever? What? Just what? Oh, just for the room. Okay. No, I think it lasts until you gain more health, and then move into a different room. Again, it's been like a year though, so I could be wrong. Press space. Huh, I thought space was a use item. Oh well. Sorry. Yeah, it should be space. Not doing anything. Well, I've already used the tooth, right? So. No, you haven't used the tooth. Isn't that what I am now? No, that's your um, core of Babylon ability. Oh. Space is doing nothing, man. Weird. It should be item use. Maybe it just doesn't let you use it against Monstro specifically. Also, it should be noted you're crying tears of blood. Yeah. I noticed that. Oh, there I go. And you're boned. Want to go again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the horror Babylon ability. Okay. Back to main menu, otherwise... Oh, uh, unless you want to play Eve again. Yeah, I'll give her another shot. All right. Well, that's an easy enough room. You can sacrifice health to it in a potential to get something. You don't know what. <laughs> Nothing. All right. That was fun. Destroy the spawner before it gates more spiders. Now cry your way through the poop. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Eh, yeah, well, you said it. Oh. Better pray for a good item, Jay. Oh, the unicorn horn. What does it do? Go to the boss room and press space. That's bait, and, and then just trust me. You will win that boss fight.
We have to kill the spiders. You're gonna lose your horror of Babylon when you move to the next room because you healed up. So, uh, Still probably a good idea to have healed though. Yeah, you're not gonna hear me not wanting to be. Okay, as soon as the fight starts, press space and run into him. Okay. Ram into him. Just run right into him. Well, that was... You hit him once, and that took out a quarter of his health. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got stuck, because I forgot what, how to control this. Whoa, shit. I'm stuck. When oh. you press shift, you drop a bomb. Also, he forms little buttholes when he comes in and out of the earth. Yeah, I see that. I think he's supposed to be a tapeworm or something. Yeah, probably. Well, he's, his name is Pin, so he's probably a pinworm. Oh, fair enough. Either way, he's not something you'd like to have in your digestive yeah. tract. Also, I don't think you're crying this. I think you're actually spitting it. Huh. Maybe you do in Horror of Babylon. Hmm? Maybe you do as Horror of Babylon. Oh, there I go. Yep, well, I'm not good at it. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more shot. Alright, all yours. Hold on, just let me switch sides then. All right, this time I'm gonna play as the character inspired by Phil Fish. Uh, Judas, who they put a fez on, because uh, Phil Fish, um, the guy who made Fez, voted against this game to win an award at an indie uh, convention. And they felt that it was a gross betrayal. Fuck him. Fuck Phil Fish. Phil Fish is kind of a dick. Yeah. Kind of a huge dick, actually. It's probably why he has no health. He has no heart, but a lot of attack power. Things die super fast to fill fish. He also starts with three pennies. Oh, I got the black kid. Little Steve, what does he do? He shoots. Oh, okay. There's a racist joke in there somewhere, isn't there? Oh, there really is. I'm just not sure what it is. Little black kid that shoots? Uh, especially grape something. Grape soda? I think so. I, I think it's a grape joke. Because it's purple. It, oh, wow, do you do a lot of damage. Yeah, he just melts things. But he only has one heart. It's the closest you can be to Heartless in this game. Philfish! You know what you did! Holy also, shit. you keep pretending to leave the game industry and then not leaving. Fuck. Come on, random effect! Balls of steel. Bonus health. Well, that'll do. <laughs> Larry Jr. Well. Oh. So it's one of these. Does it do the same thing that Larry does? Yes. Yay, they gave me temporary health. Fuck it, Book of Belial. Time to deal damage out the ass. God damn, you do deal a lot of damage. Especially since this is supposed to be like the hardest first level boss. It's also one of the creepier ones, I think. Oh, yeah. What does this one do? One of everything, but I think it slows me down a little. Uh, push pin. I think that makes me cry faster. Random pills. Bad gas. And the Hero Fant. I forget what this does. Time to find out. Ooh! Bonus health. You have no real hearts, but you got a shit ton of fake ones. <laughs> Traumatizing yeah, events! I was about to say, yeah, that looks like Phil Fish's life. <laughs> People just farting on him? Shitting all over him. As he deserves to be. Maybe if he... Oh god, it's the suicide ones! Well, that worked out beneficially. Yep. 
Ooh, it unlocked a secret door. That was sure lucky. Things should not be going this well for Phil Fish. He's kind of a dick who keeps pretending to leave the games industry but never leaving. Bob's rotten head. What does that do? That. Oh. Book of Belial's better. I'm gonna stick with the Book of Belial. Man, you know what they should have done for Bob's rotten head is they should have had that corpse in the corner be headless. Yeah, that would have been neat. Go fuck yourself, mini worms. I still don't know what the deal with these are. They're they're essentially harmless. And they make a really tragic noise. Oh, cool. Uh, this is a battle square. Basically, I get a free item, which gives me extra health in this instance, and then I have to fight my way through whatever challenge they put me against. In this case, a boss fight. However, this is one of the easier boss fights, so, you know, whatever. Plus, I deal, like, stupid amounts of damage. Especially with my little black buddy here. One more hit. Oh, seriously? Damn it, I thought he was at like zero health. Magic pistol. Magic pixel. Woo. Oh wow, he is. There he goes. Oh god! Oh god, it's a gauntlet! Oh god, I was not expecting this. Well, at least these ones are small. Fucking game. I'd rather have one big one than a bunch of small ones. At least I can dodge one big one easily. That's true. God, it made a popping sound and it didn't pop. What the fuck, game? Oh, there it goes. Oh, that one goes. All right. And a penny. Yeah, one whole penny. Well, one I, got whole an, I got an extra health. I can't really complain. I have six extra health and just... Well, five and a half extra health and one regular health. Or two regular health. Nope. Oh, you just... You just... Oh, fuck! <laughs> well, fuck that. that. took care of itself in the end. Yeah, when one of them blows up, they all die. Fuck! Do you want to give up some of your temporary health for whatever bonuses await you? No. My, my bombs now deal poison damage. Neat. So if I can hit a boss with a bomb, it's actually somewhat beneficial. Especially considering I have seven of the damn things, but I find as a general rule it's a better idea to conserve them anyway. They're useful on occasion. Oh, damn. I know. This run seems to be going a lot better for you. Oh, it is. I still haven't gained anything that increases my attack power, but just the starting attack power is so high. You don't need it. Oh god, the horseman! Every so often you get a horseman, and they always give you a follower. Like, it, it's basically Meat Boy. Uh, it's made by the same developer, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it kind of it kinda has that same... Uh... God damn it. God damn, he is... He makes a weird-ass noise. Yeah, he does. Ah! <sighs> oh, crap. <laughs> Listen to him now. He's the horseless headman. Yeah. <laughs> the horseless headman. And they give you this meat boy. Cube this, of meat. Yep. Uh, it eventually becomes meat boy if you get more of the horsemen. And basically it orbits around you absorbing damage. Oh, that's useful. Oh, I'm going to make a deal with Satan. What do you have to do? I have to sacrifice health in order to gain the benefit there. I am going to take the mark of the beat or brimstone. Basically, I can't attack as rapidly, but dear god. But I only have temp health now as the as my sacrifice. That's interesting to say the least. Yep. <laughs> I could have also gotten the dead cat, which would have given me nine lives, but uh, all the extra lives would have just been with one fake heart. All right, time to find out what's behind door number one. Bum friend. What does he do? Um, he absorbs money that I should have gotten, but every so often he drops items. You know what? I'm gonna face the gauntlet square. Oh, God. 
god, that's powerful. Yeah, that's why I had to sacrifice two hearts. damage those ones until they pop up, unfortunately. Yeah, I figured that would be the case if I was worried. The red ones, however, you can damage. I don't know why. They seem to be made out of meat as opposed to bone. That's true. They don't deal more damage, though. They're just inherently worse. And these ones you have to destroy again before they can respawn. And I'm down to one goddamn health. Go up through the wooden door? No. I no. Shop. Fuck, I don't have enough money to, like, give this bum money. <laughs> Fuck! That was bad. Well, I'm down to one hit. And whatever that is. Matchstick? I'm not sure. Nope. I want precisely 0% of this. Are you gonna take whatever's in the box since you can actually grab it? I can't. I can't get to it. Yeah, you can go up. You can bomb thing into the pit, can't you? Oh yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> that was... Good idea, Jay! How was I to know spiders are in boxes? Sometimes spiders are in boxes. Well, yes, actually. <laughs> See you next time, folks.